All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the show. I am Tassinix. Uh, this is Season 49, 5 versus 5, Grand Arena Championship, Week 1, Round 3. My opponent is, once again, the esteemed Aesop Rock, the Pirate. Uh, this VOD will only be up on YouTube. No, no Twitch stream today. We're doing this on the low low. Still technically on the clock here, so I dare not put myself out on Twitch. You know what it is. Let's get right into the meat and potatoes here. Um, by the way, those of you that are here in Discord, you can feel free to, to chime in from time to time. You don't have to be on radio silence, but uh, it's all good. All right, switch up desktop view. No prediction today. Again, no Twitch. Uh, let's go ahead and blow this up. All right. <laughs> uh, this 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 bug with the Erodium folks getting sent up to the top of Kyber One is killing me, man. Uh, here I am, two and zero on this week, and Aesop is the same. I'm rank nine, and he's rank eight. So we're both two and zero in the top bracket. And the possibility exists that neither of us are in the top bracket next week. So that's just fabulous. Gotta love that. All right, so yeah, rank 9 fighting rank 8. Uh, my GP, 13.8 million to his 14.2. Top 80, uh, 3.1 to his 3.11. So real close there, actually. Uh, Zetas, 334 to his 336. GAC Omicrons, my 48 to his 50. Top 80 average speed, my 160. Finally broke 160. Yeah. Uh, 160 to 162. And mod analysis. All right, plus 25s. 181 to his 256. 20 to 24s. My 400 to his 493. Uh, 15 to 19s. 322 to his 443. Plus 20s. 581 to his 749. So he's got me roundly beat there. Uh, Offense-wise... Plus 4%, my 148 to his 269. And uh, plus 6%, my 45 to his 90. So, yeah, all right. So we roundly lose on the mods. That's good. All right, relic analysis. We have crossed the 2000 line. So 2006 to his 2160. Relic 9s, my 73 to his 88. Relic 8s, my 122 to his 171. My relic 7s, I have 45. He has 0. It's all relicator better for him. Datacron analysis. You know your boy is still holding steady under 200 here at 190. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, to Aesop's 782 total rerolls. Let's break that down. Uh, level 9 Datacrons, uh, I have 35 to his 56. 6 to 8s, I have 8. He has 0. And 3 to 5s, I have 6. He has 0. So if he was touching it, it went up to 9. All right, as far as GL comparison goes, feel free to you know, pause the VOD here and have a look-see. Uh, likewise with the so-called key characters. And then, of course, we're lined up pretty even for ships. All right, enough on this. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let me kill the camera for the VOD so it's not blocking the way. All right, so this is the Omega Bot report that I pulled on Aesop based on last season of 5 vs. 5. So it's on the entire last season. Uh, his attack times, he opens early, finishes late. It's pretty standard fare for him, so nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, mod comparison graph-wise, yeah, you know, it's close but no cigar in, in most places. All right, GAC Omicron's right. He's only got two that I don't. What is it? Director Krennic and Tuscan Chieftain. You can have them. You can have them, Aesop. You can just have them. All right, squad banner efficiency. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Uh, I don't know why this one's busted. I'll have to follow up with Megalitaros about that. All right, defense is set by Aesop last season. So Malgus, Finn, Starkiller. Leia with Chewy, so probably, uh, you know, Cancer Leia. DR Akbar, because he's got the goods for that. Lord Vader Maul Malikos, that was a good one last season. That sucked. I did not like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. If he set that shit on me in the back, I gotta save JMK for the back. Oh, boo. I don't like it. 
All right, Seer, Sith Eternal, JMK Cat, Ray Swolo, Slacker Malakos. Yeah, that's what he said on on me at the end of the last five season. And that was a good one. That one, that one got me good. Uh, Lord Vader Maul, blah, 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 blah. Okay, some, and then some other stuff. Oh, man, he's he's got a... Uh, you see Megalitos added Crash to the Legend? Blue? So, wow. Nice. Nice. All right. Defenses by zone. What might we expect to see up front? Uh, Starkiller, Leia, Akpar, Lord Vader, Malakos. Tough stuff. Offense-wise, yeah, Gas, Reva, Afro, Padme. Jabba, Wampa, Bubba, Iden, Harem, JML. So Jabba and JML, reliably, he'll save for offense. The rest of it, He's putting a lot down. Uh, so, yeah. As far as fleet-wise, Malevolence, Chimera, Negotiator. Now, that was, you know, that was two months ago. Now, we know from the end of this last season, fighting Aesop, he, he had a pretty difficult fleet setup that we were able to work around by pulling Leviathan off defense for the very first time that season. So, uh, we'll see if he's still of a sane mind to pull that trick, or if he's done something different, something more conventional, something even crazier. We'll find out. <sighs> what teams gave him trouble last season? Gas. Yeah, one of those was mine. <laughs> Ray Swallow, Chirpa, Lord Vader Maul, Malakos, Tarful, DR, Leia, Chewie, Lord Vader Maul, Seer. A lot of standard fare. I mean, he's, he's since he sets so many GLs on defense, he's willing to sweat it out with you. Um, because he thinks he's going to clear for better. And if you clear it all, it's going to be for not better. All right, let's move it back on over to the main scene. Back out of this. All right, let's break it down. <clears throat> Aesop has already done me the kindness of a full clear. In 1807, so there was some taxation. Um, I could, you know, I, I, I would have had better if it were up to me. But uh, it'll have to do. All right, we'll start where he started. I think I have pretty accurate banners for most of this. So, we'll see. Ba, ba, ba. Wait, I'm going too far back in time. Six. Okay, today. Da, da, da. All right. So, he started with uh, Leia here. So, we, we pulled Han Chewie out of here and set Old Ben um, and Bays. He's so likely to use Jabba here that I feel that... Like, our odds of complicating that have to do with dispelling them and keeping them without the Hut Cartel buff and slowing them down to the point that we can ult and stuff like that. So, that was kind of the idea there. It really didn't slow him down much, though. What was it? 64 banners, and that was his opener. Against uh, Savage Lead, Treya Nihilus, Scion, Talon, um, that was 60 banners. That was a good one. What was next? Against Saw. Uh, Saw, Kyle, Kara, Wedge, and SRP. He got a 65. And um, last but not least, Malgus uh, was a 64. So Malgus, DR, BSF, Malik, Sith, Marauder. All right. So, you know, a few banners. Let me bust out the calculator real quick so I've got that. Some... This is one of them sweat my ass off things. So we'll do 1 plus 5 plus 0 plus 1. Yay! So you dropped a total of 7 banners on that wall. Neat! We'll go to the back last. Top side. Um, let's see here. He got a 60 on Dash Hondo... Wheel, IG-11, and Vandor. Uh, against Ray, Swolo, RJT, Sorty, L3, he had to end up three-shotting this. So on the first go, he got Sorty and L3. This is suggesting that he had to star killer this, uh, which makes sense, as his JMK is on defense, as you'll, as you'll see. Um, 
So on the first go, we got both the droids. On the second go, we got Swolo and Ray. So it was just RJT standing alone. So two plus two plus, what was it? Um, 260, is it? It's 260 for the zone? I always forget if it's 260 or 240. It's 240. So what does that make that? It's 60. Uh, something's wrong with the banner count. Whatever, it was 20-something, okay? We don't have to sweat, uh, we don't have to belabor the point. What's, uh, what's next? Qui-Gon. Alright, now Qui-Gon and Finn, you know, I was fielding something from work at the time, and he knocked these two out so fast that I can't tell you which score goes to which, but they're 63 and 65, respectively. If I had to guess, 65 on Finn. Um... Probably using Afra if I had to guess. I don't have C down. I don't have Jabba down. And when last we fought, he used Night Sisters to great effect. I I very much doubt he would try it against a no revive Scoundrel Cron, but it's possible. It's possible. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, that's enough on the top wall. Bottom back. Oh yeah. Let's. Uh, why am I? Typing this up as I go. So it was 63, so it's 2 plus. Um, what? So Ray is 30, so 20 plus 10 plus. Yeah, it'd be helpful to know what those extra couple banners might have been. Math would be effective here. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll compute that later. All right, in the back, we set Lord Vader, Maul, Piet, uh, Thrawn, Royal. So the fact is, I could have kept this for offense, and I could have set something hmm, cheesier in its place. Um, every chance, there's every chance that Aesop saved uh, Bo-Katan for this. That's what I would do. And he got a 64, so it's very likely Bo-Katan. Hmm. All right, now we set Gas, Rex, um, Echo, Fives, and Krex down. Uh, all but impossible to CLS, as I understand it. So we'll end up finding out what he did to clear that. Uh, what do we got? So we got a 63 on the Lord... Oh, no, it was a 63 on the Lord Vader? I think that's probably what that is. Gassy got a 64. So that's 2 plus 1. Slacker, he got a 65, so no no credit there. And then that last, that last question is just how much he lost up there on that last squad. Um... I'd have to subtract out. So it was, dash was 60. Okay, here we go. I think I can figure this out. So dash was 60 and that was 1097. Thirty-three? Thirty-three? How did I compute that? Uh, I, I think I used the wrong base number. So it was, no, it was 1370, that's right. Thirteen. Thirteen? Should still be twenty something. Maybe a twenty three. So call that plus two. That's an estimate. So it's uh I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. The point is, there's not a lot of room. All right, like a drop and a half, right? So, 
We failed unless we've succeeded unless. In the back, as far as fleets go, this one, 289, uh, that's a 70, right? It's 219 for fleet. Yeah, so you got a 70 on Mal, um, a 73 on Leviathan, and a 75 on Executor. So excellent scores on fleet. This suggests that um, he was either successful using conventional counters pretty easily, uh, and he has the same kind of fleet that he set for me last time, or it's something conventional. It's tough to say. You would think it's something conventional, though, because those banners are really, really high. All right, let's talk about his defense. Top side, Lord Vader Maul, Thrawn, Royal Piet. So, you know, use your Bo-Katan here, signal. Uh, we saw him post this a couple times last season. DR, Treya, Nihilus, Savage, and Talon. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, this is really, really tough to get me is what that is. That's what that is. I don't think you want to even attempt it. All right, then you got Saw, Baze, uh, dig this, right? He's got Drogon, Chirrut, and Kyle here with the Drogon Kron. We'll look at the Kron later, but that is extra super gross nasty. There's um, turn meter gain in this team. I wonder how DTMG would do against this. They might get worked. I don't know. We want to try, though. Finn, uh, Resistance, Hero Finn, Poe, Zori, and Rose, a man after my own heart, so we'll see. He set it with the set 11 Kron, so it's still possible that Night Sisters might work there. Bottom front, Malgus, Set, BSF, Sith Marauder, and Sass. So, really went for the value buy on this one. I wonder how I might exploit that on the cheap. The thing is, I'm sure this is a big boy. 81%. No. Alright, let's have a look. We gotta have a look. We gotta we gotta give our man his propers here. What is this? 239. This is a bigger boy. He's a bigger boy. That's a huge bitch. Alright. So uh Ray Swolo. L3, Sorty, and Zerus. Interesting. Now, Zerus is... Hmm. I don't think any of this would stop uh, JMK. But this is... This looks like a disaster to attempt with Starkiller. So I really don't think I will. Now, Starkiller is an option against this Malgus, but I, I, I really feel that um, Jedi Cal is the option because the thing is, the reason he parted this this way is that I'm overwhelmingly probable to use Jedi Cal anyway, and Jedi Cal's not likely to fail on Malgus. Uh, at least not the way you'd hopefully have it set up, so... He's just, that's why he parted out the DR that way. Also, yeah, having DR lead really makes things difficult for, for Padme. That's that's a pretty decent choice. Um, JMK, Cat, C-3PO, Ahsoka, and GK. So, as I recall, the C-3PO specifically is there to complicate, um, excuse me, uh, Inquisitors. Now, I'd like to think Inquisitors could still work. Note that this isn't the permakill cron. So, if Cat gets to go and execute, um, we could still be pretty okay. I wonder if that's worth trying. Do I have some history to support that? Do I have a tab open for JMK? Might have him right there. JMK, ba ba ba, yep, looks sorted right. Arcane Visions, really? So limited. Such a limited data set. Damn. So, Reva's a 50%. What, what made this? Yeah, alright, that's not good. Yeah. Hey! Hey! 
That looks like me. Hey, that looks like my crumb. I bet you I bet you I know who this son of a bitch is. Ah! Ha! Huh. Alright, what did you do? You look like a smart fellow. Look at you, smart guy. What'd you do? Ha! You bum! I don't know what you did. Holy shit. Okay, well this is where somebody met his end. It's probably... No, it wasn't Aesop. It wasn't me either. I don't have no 102% health data problem. Jeez. Okay, so anyway, high defense didn't save you. How is it that this happened? Two and a half minutes in which they're all... They're all dead and you have no damage done. How did this happen? Okay, so how do we screw this up? How do we screw this up if we screw it up at all? We know that we can use Reba here because we've done it before. We've had to do it before. So that's probably the best option, because I was just saying how I need JMK for the back if he did, like, Lord Vader Maul Malikos, because I have Slacker on defense, and Slacker isn't great for Lord Vader Maul Malikos, as I maybe correctly recall. But, um... All right. So if it's... So how's this going to work, then? So I think it's Jabba against Leia, Right? Slacker in the back. He has a strong incentive to place it. It jammed me up last time. But but how did he clear the different elements of my defense? But I really have to stop and think about that real quick. Because that because basically what I'm deciding right now is is to take the make make the decision on what I think is in the back and then proceed from there. So you don't need anything too fancy to deal with saw. Malgus needs Jedi Cal. You can do that. This needs something. I don't think you can Padme this. I also especially don't think you can do it for what he did it for, right? What did he do on that? Got a 60 on it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nobody with prod? That's, that sounds like you could top everybody off with Padme and still make that work. Hmm. And then you have Leia, which I overwhelmingly think he did job on. So what does that mean? JML can take on Slacker successfully. Bo-Katan for this. Something special for that gas, but he blew that gas right out, didn't he? 64. Um... I'd have to do the math, but I wonder if that's something that bounty hunters might do. Because it's like, you got you got uh, Krex that's just going to throw out that AoE daze real quick, and you've got, uh, you know, you've got Grief Cargo over there just, you know, sucking his fingertips. Mmm, mmm, tasty debuffs. So, hmm. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to have to hope that what I left myself for offense is enough. Let's uh, go ahead and try this for the first time. Now, I feel like we want to open up with... So it's like Cassian's going to do AoE first. We're going to have some kind of buffs early on. Uh, Chupio, here's the shitty thing. If we do the buffs up first, if we do the dispel first to gain the Huff Cartel buff, then straight up immediately after Chupio is just going to dispel that. So I think we want to use Jabba's third on Old Ben so that we get to just disregard him utterly. Um, who is it we're trying to beat up and who is it that we're trying to eat? I don't know. Krex feels like a huge pain in the ass. I 
feel like we can mostly ignore Cassian. Um, the buff immunity could be risky for us. But that's why we'd want to not keep him with buff imu or, uh, with healing or ability block. We want him to be able to use his abilities. So. Okay. Well, probably this, this this could be one of them overthinking things. We'll find out real soon. Okay. Um yeah, open up a third on old Ben and just kind of ride the pony. Quick reminder about what he's going to do here outside of ba -ba -ba, yeah. Another phoenix, all this crap don't matter. Da, da, da. Clone or trooper, da da da. 60% max health. So this is 5 versus 5. Whenever an ally is inflicted with ability block or daze, like by me, for example, they dispel it and inflict two stacks of dot on all enemies. So ability block or daze specifically is bad news. So that's a great idea to not have Boba Fett. He's basically 10% health and protection. All right, well, we'll, have, we'll have to play it by ear. How's he got it set up now? All right, it's still pretty pretty damn fast. The prot orientation, interesting. Who threatens us the most? Product could be continuously dispelled by this guy, but I think the focus has to be on you when we try to eat Chupio. I think that's the idea. I think we gotta brute down Rex, because I don't want to deal with him. So let's roll. We'll see what happens. Damn, got a lot of folks piled in here. I didn't even hear. Oh, makes sense. Okay, so a bunch of debuffs off rip. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, how about. Yeah, geez, all oh, that's kind of bad. We'll come around quickly enough, though. And that's what I'm going to tell myself. People who need to get their shit locked down. Uh, probably you. Okay. Deploy. And let's hope that this, uh, oh, what the hell. Um, we already decided we're pounding through you, and Job has immediately got another turn, so I see no reason to do the turn pass. Right, just right then. Uh, he's about to go and dispel us. Right? Eh, I don't know. We'll find out. No, no regrets. Alright, some regrets. Gertz. Um, this doesn't matter. We'll do this because even if the attack misses, we still get the taunt. This will come back around to Gotta move him along, shall we? Okay, that's good. Ultimate's good. This guy is just going to get, like, Captain insane -oed. minutes. Nobody's dying. Feels good, man. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. Probably want to throw this onto you now? You having buff immunity slows down your ultimate, which feels... Maybe like what I should have done in the fast place? I don't know. This shit is taking too long, though. Yeah, we gotta talk up again, sure. Surely that is the correct decision. Okay, so you get exploded all according to plan. You gotta go bye bye. We see you in hell. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Hmm, yes, well. Okay, now you're gonna ult. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's not so bad. I've had worse. I have really had worse. Okay, we'll just ignore him and do all that, whatever. Focus on this guy. Get him. Get him, Lance. We want to put third on Leia before we end up eating uh, old Ben, I think. That would be the, the script. Or not, you know, I mean, uh, oh, no, this works. Uh, that's fine. Slap this shit. Uh, that's fine. This is, this is definitely taking too damn long. Huh? A little old charge for you for just a moment, if you would kindly. Okay, still need to like conclusively destroy this guy's ship. <sighs> you betrayed me. Uh, yes, hit you. Eat you. Give it to God. I, I assume that is objectively the right answer, like, after this. After these messages. 50 seconds. Just go. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea what I'm doing. Please kill it. Come on now. 20 something seconds. We're almost to another Rancor. She takes a turn, does not a whole lot. 15 seconds. Big ult does nothing and consumption and she gets teleported back here. Costs me like another four seconds. Ain't that a bitch. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. hmm. Alright, four plus. Mm, well, Fourteen plus. Comment. One drop. Timeout. First attempt in GAC, though. We're doing that. All right. I don't know how we'll do that. We'll come back to that. Now, as far as Ray goes, yeah, it's really just got to be JMK, so we're going to have to just play it by ear. Because I don't know that I want to risk trying Starkiller. And if we did, what would we even do for cleanup? <laughs> I mean, a whole bunch of stuff surely exists, but... Mm -hmm. I wonder if Trench would do the job on that Leia. There might be something to that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, well... We're going to stick to the script on this one. The question is... Um, do I run Mace here? Mace has been great to me in GAC. Uh, we don't run Padme. Typically it's Ayla. Past few seasons it's been Ayla. Can't run Lumi here. There's no real upside to Lumi. Could do Xeris. Xeris can be helpful. Not a lot of critical hits, though. Stun. The stun is meaningless um, against L3. <clears throat> Did I have something pulled up for that? Ooh, this would be good to know, actually. <clears throat> uh, members is exact, so cleanups any. Uh, none of this, if you would kindly kill all this. There we go. 
What do you got? Wampa gas. Oh, GG. GG will do it. Yeah, my mouth, my <laughs> Geos. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is all the kind of stuff. So we could use something like GG. Aha, see? Somebody did try and use trench. Nine attempts, 66% win rate. Wow, it was even worse with what? That's kind of cool to know, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we have to come back to you later. Yeah, that's right. We were checking to see if I had a ray tab open. Doesn't look like I do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Of all the JMKs, what was looking best? I oh, yeah. I think that was still having a Lacron, but that makes sense. That was all a Lacrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What failed? It was failing. Ayla. Mm. How does this? How is this accomplished? How does somebody fail this with JMK? So clearly you would want to, um, I feel like you want to execute L3 and just get him out of the way. Or get her out of the way. Sorty's a pain in the ass to get a hold of, though. L3 is easier to get at. We don't have a scoundrel permakill available took the risk of putting both of the ones that I have for this week on defense. So whatever it is we're planning, we'll we'll have to keep that in mind. <clears throat> GK. We do have GK and GK is often really useful. If it wasn't Ayla, people were doing Mace. Zeris was 100% as well. This is for somebody who didn't have. Yeah, so we had extreme stacking offense back then, too. I feel like I probably won't need Zeris elsewhere. And I think we'll get more from her than we would from Ayla now. We'll set it up like so. Um, historically, I really liked having mace to ability block but if we're going to end up doing like star killer versus ooh i mean having mace even for malgus might kind of be cool cuz you could use almost any tank with star killer versus something like his finzori up top so what's our cron going to be Defense will impede. Um, well, surely we want something with buffs on three. So what, like this one? It's probably this one, if I had to guess. It would either be that or the stacking offense. The five percent stacking offense might be better. There's a lot of health to, to cut through here. And you know, while we have all these buffs, the defense isn't super high. It's only 70%. The survivability stats are so-so. If that's the case, um, armor penetration. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So on basic, we could take this one. And that's 42% armor pen. I mean, JMK would slap. Minnesota would too. 
There's merit to this. There's merit to this. Um, I don't know. I'm not mad at this one. So again, we have to think real clearly though about what it is we're going to execute here. So there's no RJT to worry about. If you try to pound through, I, I feel like it's got to be uh, Zerus that you execute. So we'll make sure that she gets a turn, right? So that she, uh, I, I, mean, I don't think she's an oof, you know, she's not an oofu, so maybe she doesn't get that thing. I don't know, we'll look for it in the beginning. The point is, is we'll make sure not to execute her before she has the instant defeat immunity off. All right, let's roll. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play it straight here. Call, get that Ahsoka call, and that's nice, man. That's pretty damn nice. We're still waiting for your girl over there to just be real cool, like, and take her turn. Um, if I hit him, that's bad, so we're just not gonna do that. We're gonna chill, be real cool, like. Uh, this is a good time. Yep, get all those inspirations off. Um, it isn't quite the moment that we're looking for yet, is it now? We can trade back one more time. Let Zerus go. Uh, yeah, that actually worked out for the best, I feel. Okay, so you dropped the goods, right? Ah. Ah. Ah, uh, that's bad. Ah, uh, th that's bad. Because now you're going to get your shit reset. Mm, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, well, anyway. Mm, shields up. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, now you over there. Die. So that we might make short work of the rest of you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, kick the shit out of them. Faxies. Okay, ow. Mmm, mm, sure. That's a big enough hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, it'd have to be a similarly large hit, though. Uh, yeah, that's true. That is kind of a pain in my ass, isn't it? Uh, well, still, we have to do it like this. Gotta keep that on her. Um, he's stacking up the whole time. It's not my fave. Well, not really. We're not being too but what I need is that. Yeah, okay. 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 I mean, you were dispelled before you hit me, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, I've had worse. Uh, let's go ahead and buff up here. We'll reset Cat. Feels like usually the time that we're looking to shield GK, but I think we'll try and save that for just after this portion of the show. Uh, just basic. Two minutes to go. Not a lot of time. Got a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work to do. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, it's fine. Maintain. Stay on target. Uh, how's that execute come on? Where's that execute at? You son of a bitch. Uh, you weren't supposed to drop that for any reason. All right, well, I mean, if you gotta go, go with a smile. Uh, how about you? Can you make, like, a tree and fuck off? Nope. That's gonna hurt. Uh, might as well hit you, then. Since we're in the neighborhood, how you been? Ugh. I'm gonna be better in a minute, I feel. Jesus. All right, minute to win it. It's one of them situations again. Trade backsies. Uh... 
Is that gonna hurt? Right about now-ish? Bonk. Ooh. Okay, 56. Shields up. Weapons online. Uh, yeah. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. We got 40-something seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right foot, left stomp. Left foot, left stomp. Chop, chop. This one. Ooh. Okay. Ignore all this shit. Let's go. Let's go. Cat, where's that? Where's that turn? I need that execute. Somewhere right about now-ish. Okay. There it is. Bitch. You whore! Ah, you weren't supposed to do that. Well, uh-huh. Okay. Last chance saloon. 15 seconds. Don't panic. Just, I'm not panicking. You're panicking. You're cool. I'm cool. It's all good. Right? Put it on. Oof. Man, that's a bitch right there. All right. So we're already in the in the absolute danger zone for this to work. Hmm. Ah. All right. So we got three plus with that. Um, the one error I think I really made towards the end there was not using Zerus's heal to level out GK. Probably could have kept GK. But that's just a long ass fight and a very very difficult crumb. Hmm. All right. So we know we'll have to clean that. So how do we want to deal with you? I guess we're going to try uh, Inquisitors. And honest to God, I don't remember how I did this. Uh, I feel like I used third first, and then they just destroyed... Uh, Freaking seventh sister. I think that's what I remember. Now, the upside I... is if you impale yourself here, you can just pack it in. Yeah, pack it in. But I, yeah, it's a good learning opportunity. That's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like I, I mean we're probably already sunk. The odds that I can be more efficient at this point are pretty slim. But that's not going to deter me from trying to clear. All right, this is the crown we used last time. I knew I recognized that garbage. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try opening with ability block this time. Because if we do the third, we're pretty confident that we lose Seventh Sister. Right off rip. And we were able to win without her, but maybe we could win with her. Be kind of nice to try. So, I knew something was bothering me. Right. Okay, so stick to it. Hey, stop that! Damn it! Alright, all you just chill and do nothing for a while. Um, the thing is, if I do this here right now, then you're just going to punish me for it, right? Like, I want to save that this one for just a little longer. I feel like that's the right move. Um, there's some fears out that we could exploit. Leave them. Hit third first instead of second. Um, Alright, so it's only C-3PO who's really going to get jammed out. Let's do this. Feels really nice. It's a real and nice. This guy still needs to fucking do stuff I should. Well, two. Get the hell out of here. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. It's fine. Get your buffs off. Get the hell out of my house. Okay. Uh, you still have DI. You're going to take the short ult. Bye bye. Welcome back. No, no revive, huh? That's correct. That was part of the, uh, oh, the calculation yeah. here. Uh, I won't bullshit you about that. 
I, I was about to call you a bum, but unfortunately I can't do that. That's right. Scumbag. Scumbag dagger. Hey, it's very, I'm very openly Team Aesop here, okay? Just want to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, hi, Aesop. You're, you're that edgy fan that always roots against the home team. Look at you. Look at you. Such no, no, no. A, such no, a brave home... young man you are. <laughs> not the home team, just you. What you're, what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do, daggers, is call yourself Team Guildmate, right? You can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm Team Guildmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Well, Wait, do I not root for Heinze now? Shit. Our scheme, it, our scheme it, here it, to avoid the death of Seven Sister was incredibly successful. Now we get to buff up here again. Soonish. Uh, fine now. Uh oh. I should probably answer your question, TJ. Hold on. <laughs> I just saw that. Well, that's fine. Dude. I just figured. It, I just oh, figured. No. Hey, stop that! Stop You're that! You're a lazy piece of shit, dagger. That's all. It's fine. Yes, but also stop that. Frickin' GK, I'm trying to smack. My damn. All right, that's fine. You want me to actually? Wow. All right. Elite dodge jutsu. Uh, no, just basic actually. If you would not mind. Uh, this one. Hi, Dick. How are you? If I do this, that's a kill. For me. Damn. Oh, no, you gave me the extra. You gave it back. All right, so we had one thing go well. So that was the key. All right. Uh, Malgus. So if I use Starkiller here, there might be something better for Starkiller. But like the, the question is, is how budget could I possibly go on this? Um, with it having BSF, it still makes something like Bounty Hunters risky. So what does that look like? Da, da, da. I did sort this out. Cron up. Blah, blah, blah. We'll just put that on. I don't really give a shit about those details. Uh, yeah, Star Killer, JML. So, again, JML would be for like a slacker Malikos in the back. Odds are. I mean, a clever ploy by Aesop might be to not have slacker Malikos. You know, have Lord Vader Malikos maul down, thus, you know. Really making life difficult for any hope of JML, I would imagine. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, regardless, we know that C can do it, but what does he have that I want to see? Probably that Saw Drogon team. I ain't trying to deal with that shit. I'll tell you what. That, that is a nasty looking customer. And it was nice that we didn't use C versus uh, JMK. So that's that's a deal. All right, so is there anything cheaper? Uh, attacking GLs, no. Yeah, so it's Gas, which we don't have, Star Killer, which is okay, or JKL. Um, I like JKL, actually. That's a really good one. So if we do it like this, who's he going to jump? He might jump, uh, he might jump JKR, and then that's no, that's no good. What do I think about that? What do I think about that? It's not a lot of this scene last season. What's, um... What are the likely suspects? What if we dropped out set? Does that give us a lot more data? It does. It does. With Bastille Elite for 64, but low, low scene count. More Star Killer, more JKR lead. I remember JKR also being pretty effective. Okay, so there aren't a ton of options. Yeah, see here, Bounty Hunter. Some people tried it, tried it, and did not buy it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Bastila. So if it's uh, JML that I'm needing. Or I 
I would say if we're using JML for Slacker, Malikos in the back, then at the very least, it's like JML, JKR, Grandmaster. I guess we could use Shock here. Shock would be a good one. So we, yeah, we don't need Jolie, we don't need Bastila, we don't need Hoda. So like this Bastila we want's pretty nice because it doesn't also involve JKR. I think we'll probably run that. That actually seems extra super forgiving too, having Jolie there, yeah. That sounds like something I even done last season. Why don't I just check that? What do I even curate a spreadsheet for? Hmm? Da, 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 Malgus. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did see to Aesop's Malgus when last we met. All right. Well. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like the right decision. And then we still have to sweat out those other two clean. Well, not really sweat out, but yeah, still do two more cleanups. All right. Um. Wow. I really feel like JKL is so much stronger in fives because you um, you just lock their shit down. But this is a team that isn't particularly deadly. We just want to you know, get through. So I'm not worried about that. We'll, we'll just take the Bastille lead and play it straight. Um, Jolie can go here, Hoda here. We'll put Jedi Cal here and JKL there. All right. So, um, health would be ideal on a light side, Kron. Hey, uh, this is, hmm. Let's think about this a second. This might be one of our only customers to use with JML. And JML cares a lot less about having um, the buffs up level three, I feel. Doesn't do anything. For coin. So it would have to be this one. Not much prompt to s or health to speak of. It is expendable. It does have that benefit. And if we still needed to do Gidme somewhere, we'd still have that super prod up thing. It's not a bad idea. This one is. Eh. I don't like it. I'll just leave it at that. Who is this for? If not, if not here. So we got something like a you know separate JKR team. So yeah, we're not doing that. Twenty three percent sort out prot. Who's our who's our prot person? Yeah, it's you. So this dark side cron is going to be for JML anyway. So if we really wanted to, we could do that prot up and have that much more likelihood. Having the buffs up though makes it so smooth later in the fight, so I guess we can't we can't afford to really mess around. Alright, we'll take this one. Um How is it that I wanna do this? You wanna do you wanna do Jedi Cal you want to have Jedi Cal's uh, shield up in the turn leading up to the delete. So that means you would want to open with the shield move first. Oops, somebody tag me. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you didn't break the shield. That's, that, was the, that was the job description, so... Appreciate you, bruv. Um, sure, you. Okay, yep, this'll do. Okay. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah that's fine. Okay. Uh, who can get slapped? Your shit can get slapped. Who, you. Okay. Up, up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Respect it. Don't like it, but I respect it. 
uh, dispel this, because if we want to have to get stuck hitting anybody, it would be great to get stuck hitting Seth and not Malgus. Okay, um, buff, buff, buff. Do the buffs? Uh, sure. Why not try to maintain that delicious look? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, may have cause to immediately regret that decision. But it does it. Coming soon, theaters. You gotta please stop doing stuff. I hate it when you people fucking do stuff. You absolute fucking knob. Um, you having prod is bad. Sure, sorry, you having shock is bad. Okay, so you've got that. Um, ability bunk, if you would kindly. Hmm. Let's take buffs off you. You don't need buffs. I don't like you having buffs. Oh god. Okay. It's all fine. It's all good. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. How are you? Oh shit, did I do that to him twice? I thought I did it to JKL first. That's a dumb thumb. I should do less of that. That was a silly goose move right there. Um, people to dispel again. You make with the smitings. Okay. Alright. Kill this dick over here. I really do not like you slapping me at all. Okay, that's probably a fair lesson to me. Slap you. It's done. Two minutes to hopefully not lose this. That'll be the last one of those we do, I think. Uh, chop you down. Okay. okay. This time with feeling. Yes. Yes. That's good. That's real good. Yes. Finish him, if you would. Thank you. Uh, you're still stealth. Okay. Then, uh, I mean, there's no choice. We just have to beat you down, and this is the part that sucks, because this can take time. This is an exceptionally resilient thing. The... But this one. Uh, you. And you need to just... Mm, that's the good one. We'll take that. Alright, this ain't, this ain't so bad now. Uh, Nick with the armor shreds, I think. Let's go, though. Minute to win it. It's one of these situations again. Mm. Yeah, this fills him up, but uh, that's okay here, I think. Yeah, that's a good size hit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 45. Come on now. Damn it. Two. Uh, let's call him. Yeah, call your boy. Come on, finish the gun. Stop that. Okay, that's good. Almost there. Stay on target. Don't hit me, because you get to miss now. No life steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Got this one. Hop. Smack. Got him. All right, 65. Yay! Okay, so that one was Bastila, JKC, Cho Lee, Hoda, JKL. 65. Alright. Now, for my Mothma. With my Mothmacron, actually. Did I have that part sorted out? Is defending data crown one, two, three, four. Okay. How does that change our lookout? 
So it looks like GG is still a great solution. We don't have Kyle to go with Mon Mothma, so I'm loath to do that. I'm also loath to burn CLS there. Hera could be something, but we don't have Krex to go with it. Seems like a silly move. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is there anything else that looks like a value buy? Yeah, that, that trench thing could be cool, but why risk dropping another 20 banners? All right, let, let's go with this GG thing. Um, more importantly than what won is how it lost, so how did this go? Poopcron, um, mostly low relics, so it's about getting that buff immunity and keeping it. This was two minutes, so they just got beat down. They got beat down. Damn. Damn. Damn, y'all really took it. Okay. All right. Well, as long as you don't come at it with bum relics, it looks like. It looks like you should be okay. Ah, see? Forgiving of armor penetration. Armor penetration looks like a recipe. I think I actually have just such the thing. Uh, no need to burn newt here, I guess. So, GG, B1, B2. Put Droidica here. Armor penetration, yeah? Dark side. Got this Piggy Crumb. Look at that. 68% uh, percent armor penetration. Might it be a bit of a waste? Maybe. Do I want to lose a second time on this team? No. And that's the story. Hmm. Hello there. Hey, stop that. We weren't supposed to do that off rip. Uh, just basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's do this one. Stop that. Oh, damn it. Who told you you could make moves? Start stacking. Get rolling. Okay. Okay. Not my favorite. Okay. That's a good one. Uh, dispel all this shit. And you don't have taunt because of reasons. Fun reasons. Sensible reasons. Smart reasons. Okay, good. Love getting resisted. B2, would you be so kind? Nope, don't get the reset. It's cool. I'll just stay here and eat shit. Okay, all good. All good. I'm good. You're good. We're all good. How are you? Uh, preserve B2. Okay, you can't counter. That's right, because of the target lock. But for the grace of God. Uh... Make nice with the target locks, boys. Ah, eight. Eight. You were supposed to keep the target lock. Put that back. You stay there. Damn it. Eight. Who said you could do this? Shoot her. Or something. You guys are starting to frustrate me. With, what with the not actually slapping her shit. I need her shit to be slapped. It's part of the job description. Uh, we won't get any turn meter from this, but we will get the taunt, and that can't be bad. So we'll just run that. This. Make sure that we keep the healing immunity, if at all possible. Ow. Ow. Mmm. Okay. Uh, uh. Preserve magna. Uh, got a basic here, right? Gotta keep trying to maintain that uh, healing immunity. Can't have you doing any of the healing stuff. Hey! Shit. Okay. It gets real now. Oh, shit. He got two. Um, it feels like the big hits the move. Because then Magna's about to go as well. Basic. You fall. Basic. Counter. You bitch. If you heal. Bitch! Bitch! Can you actually stop what with the fucking turns? Boy, you are just not my favorite. You are not going on my nice list. See, and all that for that. Alright, well. Now we can try Mon Mothma. Probably without even a cron. Hmm, what do we want most? 
animals. We'll take you, we'll take you. I guess we could take you. You're kind of cool. Ooh, uh, Cassian's actually kind of nice in this situation, isn't he? If we're doing Cassian, will we not want K2? No, probably not. I imagine not. Let's grab your boy. Uh, I guess it could be you. Is there a crown that's expendable? Armor penetration, once again, light side. Light side. Uh, don't want to give you the best. What's towards the bottom-ish here? Light side, though. Offense, that has none. It's pretty reduced value. So no armor penetration on the south side. 6%. That is an a reset scoundrel crumb. I don't know if I want to use it that way. Hmm. Which leads us kind of back up to you. It's an ability box scoundrel crumb. More expendable. All right, we'll roll with that. Third times the charm. Yeah. Why do you have so many fucking moves, lady? Lady, oh, you got so many goddamn moves. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. so yeah, we'll want a crit. Ah, boo. Hmm. Yes. Get that defense down. Oh, that was hot. Uh, yeah. Roll the bones. Get it. That's a nice one. Okay. Yeah, well, that's not the best. That's not the best either. Okay. Yeah, I need somebody to actually do a special though. Okay. Fine. Don't do a special. Dick. Oh, that's right. She just slapped the frenzy right off of him. I'll be damned. What's cool is, she seems to actually be healing? That's my fave, actually. Yeah. want to get my take on that. You guys know you are supposed to actually kill her with damage. Okay. I gotta say, you guys are really disappointing me. Okay. Mm hmm. Bitch, stop feeling! Right. Third time's a charm. So. Why did I mark those yellow? They should be red. Okay. So this one was GG plus Mon Mothma. Dude, 14 plus 0 plus, what was it? I forget what it was. 31? 21? 21? I don't know. All right. Now for you. What about you two? Uh, so you're going to still have the unique for this guy. So we have to be a little careful with that. Sortie's kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be trench food. Mm, I don't see why not. Have to still have enough defense. Um, but yeah, shock would be one solution. It's not the worst idea. Jango, Dooku, Newt. Uh, I mean, I see no reason to burn GBA here, or want for that matter. Um, tank wise. Tank wise. First of all, Squads fell here. Do that. Okay. Uh, defending, attacking data crawl. Da, 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 da. Something's wrong. Something's missing. Something's screwed up with my sword. Leader is dead. Members are exact. Yes. Show clean. Ah, that's why. Show cleanups. No. I would do it every time. Okay. Yeah. Geos. Uh, certainly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
trench right there. <laughs> With Asajj. That's an interesting choice. Geo seems worth the price of admission. We'll just do that. High armor. Some more armor pen. Offense up, armor pen. This should be okay. And away we go. Ouch. Fucking shit. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You piece of shit. What was that? That was Soldier. Soldier didn't even get a chance to join the fray. You bastard. Alright, well, that's fun. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're all fine. So we're gonna do one of these. Uh, just a basic, right? Oh, yeah. Hi. Mm. That's fine. You nerdy little bitch. Hmm. Alright, 39. That seems really, really dark color. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, Geos. Okay. These two selected. Alright, what's back there? What manner of surprise penis? Can't say we didn't see it. I see it coming, rather. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. So, for C, Malik, Sit, Scion, DV. That's kind of a cool team. We'll probably just do C, Mirror. Uh, C, Watt, and some Dum Dums, maybe. Uh, okay. So what does that mean? I guess we'll have to see who's faster. If I'm faster, then I get to... What am I, 491? What is he? 483. So I do think I get to go first. I get to lock up weapons of choice then. That means I can lock up Red Trooper. Red Trooper and C. Delete Malik later. Yeah, that makes sense to me. That tracks. Qui-Gon. Now, that one... Hmm. Cal mm, Mace. That's pretty cool with Mace. That's a good one. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. That's okay, all right. Malikos Visus. This is a slight change. Visus crew. So what does that mean? I don't know. So I think that um, well, it takes a bonus turn and her cooldowns are reset. So that means if you do something to... Uh, if you do something to set her cooldowns back... You know, and thinking that you can do that to you know, expeditiously kill Malikos, that shit ain't work. So, alright. So that'd be JML. Grandmaster. JKR. Hmm, we don't have Hoda. We have Shock. And one more. Hmm. Who's that? Who's that gonna be? Jolie's no good here anyhow. 
Uh, JKR. So we don't need another tank. Ezra could be useful to us. Hela could be useful to us. Well, we already have shock that we said we were going to use. That's fine. And shock is good. Shock is dispel on demand. Hmm. I guess it's either Ayla or Ezra. Um, Ezra has a lot of team utility. Ezra does have, or Ayla has a stun. Stun has reduced value here. This is gonna be jank. I can feel it in my bones, boys. <laughs> You're definitely faster. And you're set up to do more. So let's see what we can do with this. All right, um, before we hit go, now this is a dark sign crown, so we have very little value otherwise. 32% uh, versus 45%, 23%, and then you have all this defense, you'd have the prod up. The prod up is not a terrible thing, actually. Let's think about that. That is what we were saying earlier. Now, by having re so having the high defense means that we would mitigate damage very, very well. A lot of damage to happen. But what we need is people to die quickly. So how much is it worth to us to have only 30% defense? Yeah. 45% prot versus 23. So 20% less. But, we'd be able to weather the opening storm much better. Um, let's consider this one for the moment. Now, I have to refresh myself. How's this going to work? He's going to save Ufus, yeah? yeah? Okay, so not this one. That's okay. First time a dark side or a light side. They recover 100% health and prot. Gain DI for a turn. Take a bonus turn. And gain crit chance up, crit damage up, and offense up for two turns. Okay. So what this is, is we have to just... You know, if, you, if we had Jedi Cal here, we could maybe do Jedi Cal like delete Vesis as a quick thing and then work through Malakos. But what sucks is that we have to kill Visas I, uh, essentially twice. Because if we kill her once and then go after anyone else but her, she's going to revive that person. Um, we don't have a Jedi permakill Kron anyway. So what does that mean? If we have to endure damage, then the defense would be good. Visus won't slap. Cal won't slap. Crew won't slap. It's only Slacker and Malakos that hurt. Uh, if we go with that higher Procron, we would do a lot more, substantially more damage with coin. And the defense... What I do know is I have been using this without too much issue. What would be the highest proc cron that's light side with buffs, if such a thing yet exists? So it would be the Cherbacron, and I don't want to burn that. Mm -hmm. So if we use this light side one here, that is 
probably Padme's best bet. We would be able to survive some pretty big slaps. This might end up just falling off, so how is it that we... I think we're just going to run with this. Let's try how this goes. Could be a complete disaster. It's almost certainly a loss already, but... Uh... Eh? We'll see. Okay. Makes with the poke. Wow, so that product would have been gone like real quick, like, yeah? Stop that, damn it. Um, you there. I hate it. I don't like it at all. But we gotta do it like this. One. A two. Up, up. Uh, three. Let's try and get JKR back around ASAP. Alright, so he uh, full up once more. Um, he's about to swipe, right? We have CI right now, so that's spicy. Uh, I don't need to really worry too much. And that's the end to use, right? Okay. Uh, how are we looking for this shit? Uh, who do I care about? Uh, you know what? I don't even want to use the swap here like this. It feels like a huge waste. Mm, should have called Shakti to just take the prod up. To be honest with you. Mm. This might be something I could live to regret. Yeah. Alright. Slap. Yeah, thank you for that, asshole. Okay. Uh, the heal would be legit, would it not? We still could really use getting rid of that. That's, that's just not the way. It's really just not the way. Okay. You being set up is good. Let's take the money and run. Gotta just make with the slapping of this man in particular shit. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, uh, yup. So red part two. Just keep on with the coins. Boyos. Okay. You are not yet super dangerous. Let's take out Cal next. This cow is a dick. Ow, stop that. Damn it. Okay. Uh, good, got that going. Good coin to finish this guy. You get nothing for that, right? Yeah, that's right. You lose. Good day, sir. Okay, but for real, can I actually have the, uh... Bruv. The, all the counters just ate my ass there. So that's just great. Um, good time to do this. Heal him. We have to take some lumps, unfortunately. Yeesh. Yeah, that's a lump. That'd be a lump. How about it? Uh, ooh, that's bad. There's still a turn behind on that, too. So can we speed him up ahead? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we're out ahead. So that means we get to evade all this, and it should be mostly good after that. Swipe, swipe, you get nothing. Okay, let's just keep, make sure you're under lock and key from here on out. Pour one out for the big homie, JKR. We knew you too briefly. Stop that shit now. Yes, I will have all that, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's have that top off, if you would, kindly. Yep, mm-hmm. That'd be the one. We are looking for uh, this. Yeah, well, you know, ambition. Be what it is now. Right. Job got done. Ugly, but done. 60. So, shock, A well.
So, indeed, he did not have Lord Vader down, and it was probably pretty slick of him to have it on offense. It's tough to say where he used it. Um, it's high 60s, a number of things with it. Now, this Qui-Gon. Hmm. So I know that GG is a possible option for it. I don't know what's good, though. Could use um, Afra versus C. Yeah, that's probably a smart option. C Malik sit dot. Uh, Scient yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we would just slap their shit into oblivion, wouldn't we? Let's check that. C. Uh, da, 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 da. Darth Vader. See, there are a few of you bastards out there doing this. Alright, uh, not a lot of information. So, let's think about this a second. The cooldowns on red get refreshed when he gets that trigger, so we would have to make sure that he would die first. We have no means of controlling that with Afro, So Afro could potentially lose. Is there a reason we see... This, is there something still selected? No, there's not. Why is it like this? This is a vanishingly rare composition because of Scion. That's what that has to be. Okay, Afra was a cleanup there once. No other Afra comps. Ah, you see. Yeah, somebody, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Somebody got the whole dick and balls on that one. Okay, so that one is going to be C then, I think. That means Afra probably goes up to... Uh, I don't know. We might need something really heavy duty to deal with Saw. Saw Bay's Drogon Cheer at Kyle. That one is worth looking up. selected to it. Yeah, I'm the knob. Okay, so great news. CLS seems to cut through it like a hot knife through butter. Uh, fortuitous, because we need something that works on that level. So who's the one that you open up on super hard? It would have to be Drogon, yeah? Well, well, see, so then Kyle gets to kick off, and then there's a bunch of shit. Alright, we have to think about that one a minute. CLS... Chewy, Chupio, on C3P. So we do have them. That DR team is the next little project. Now, I didn't do detailed sorting on that saw, so there might be limitations. Um, but it was what? It was DR Treya. Yeah. Nihilus, Savage Talon, yep, just so. C, JMK, Qui-Gon, really? Oh, that's good, I'll keep that in mind. Night Sisters, how is this accomplished? Yeah, dumb fucking luck, I imagine. Look at that shit. So the, the, the trick here would be to forestall Deathmark as long as possible. While also not triggering Nihilus to just eat you up. That seems a tr like a tricky bit of business. What other options might there be? Eh, none too great, none too grand. So, how do we do this? Alright, well... We'll proceed with the rest of this here in a couple minutes. I haven't taken a break yet, so let me take a couple minutes away. Um, hit the men's room. Appreciate everybody tuning in. We've got, uh, gosh, one, two, three, we've got ten or so people here in the voice chat. Pretty nice. Like you guys joining here on Discord. Anyways, back in just a few. Appreciate you.
All right, party people, we're coming back. Okay, so cunning ploys I've acquired here. Yeah, this thing is gonna be gnarls, man. So you don't do bad batch to this, yeah? That's what you don't do. Still, I wonder what you do. Um, alright, so you gotta think that the, the big difference that Qui-Gon, or that, uh, Cal makes on this team. Whenever they're inflicted with healing immunity, this is dangerous for new Django then, too. When they're inflicted with target lock, so this is yeah resistant to both uh, Bad Batch and GG. Not in the leader slot. The first time he would be defeated isn't. Back is in the leader slot, then that doesn't work that way. If so, this is the condition that's active, so it's the second wind. Um, if the allied leader is a galactic, they gain a second wind, so you have to kill Qui Gon twice. You would have to kill Qui Gon twice and then just not be dead. That sounds horrible. Alright, well, let's make sure that we're going to be able to get through top first. Uh, let's face the music here with Bo-Katan. Let's do that one. Now, um, hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need armor with C. I wonder how much it makes a difference whether or not you have armor here. Armor, if you have her fast enough, she gets to be like a pretty awesome kickoff, right? You get to just fly off the handle. Uh, I guess I'm going to do that. Why well, take a risk here? This is... It's not going to get uh, easier from here. Now, the product, I really don't care for. I really do want something. This will do. Ah, oh, shit. Not even that. Aw, oh, poop. Well, I don't like that. Uh, so, hear me out. We're probably just going to cannibalize this. God help me if I end up needing freaking locks. Still, how much is this? She'll get called. Yeah, 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 and then she'll have it. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense to make the sacrifice here. Gosh, I hate it, though. So be it. Mm. How's your spec, anyway? Uh, yeah. I mean, true damage will do a decent bit there. that I don't have any more set 11s to use here. Regardless. Let's see it. Okay. Eh. Eh. So here's the thing. It's, not, it's only going to call her. You can two-stack somebody. Who else is going to... It's not really going to call anybody. I mean, it's whatevs. It's enough that it calls you. Hey, 
Hey. Okay. Yeah, I see you. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at all them stacks. Now you're stuck here, right? Yeah, okay. Do, do what you gotta do then. How about it, lady? Holy shit, we're never gonna get to go. Are you fucking kidding me? Though? Holy shit, that was her first turn. Okay, this is the Mass Assist slash Friendly Dispel, yeah? And that's the one. And that is the droid we are, in fact. Look, holy shit. Uh... Yeah, you're about to do all that. I guess this is fine. Okay. Thank you for that insightful moment. Okay. I guess we'll just sit here and wait for the rest of time. Okay, that's cool. This guy just fell over. Real casual-like. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you. That's a triple stack. We'll give that to you, boy. Over here. Okay, yeah. That, that feels like the right amount of mitigation to me. Um, he... I would rather have Thrawn down and out of the game, if at all possible. So maybe Ban gets to poop here? Hey, how you doing? Oh my god, you are just gonna get fucking lit up. Like, right here. This is the armor shred, yeah? Yeah, this shit is gonna be so lap. Boy! Let's have it. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That there is a good one. Mm -mm. How about it? You were supposed to pop off like a year ago. I thought that's what our Zeta was for. Was that not the point of you, Zeta? This is ugly, guys. Um, so you... Oh, we want you to die. We want you to die. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Was an explosive on the big man himself. A little disappointed there. I could be more thrilled. This is the heal, yeah? Da, 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 the heal up. That seems like the right move. We want to preserve her. Yeah. Jesus, we're going to lose old boy over there. Don't you dare kill him. Aw, oh, poop. Oh, welcome back. I know why that happened. I have no idea why that happened. Alright, uh... We do get the mass assist. Oof. Them some hits. How about it, though? You get to actually do this special? Uh, seems suitable to call you. Yep. <laughs> Them some hits. Paz is such a G. Uh, yeah. A little bit of product. Um... Mm hmm People to buff up, I guess you. You get a free stack for your trouble. Welcome to the turn. Yeah, this was uh, not so bad. Okay. Alright. Probably with a little more practice, we could smooth things out. But it wasn't so bad. I did like having the buffs up on three, so I'm not going to beat myself up too much about that. Felt like we needed the damage to get the job done. This saw thing is gonna be gnarly, man. Let's say let's equip a look at the at the particulars here. Data cron, yes. Homies. Okay, there's only four of these scenes, so the point is. Okay. So, of the options we have, CLS seems to be only one. Need one of those buffs up on three thingies. And they have. They also have a 75% turn meter to compete and trade hits with. I don't know that I have such a thing at this point. Hmm. Is that the case, in fact? Okay. An ability block. 
so we don't even have that as a real practical option. So an overkill, maybe, of some kind. I wonder, so we have no data about DTMG. DTMG eats up people for turn meter stuff, right? Gains bonus turn meter, yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't a, but this doesn't, yeah, there is some turn meter involved. Defense into offense, Datacron seems like that would be a pretty risky call, honestly. What about Night Sisters versus the this thing? High defense, good. That's good, right? Um, we need a little defense ourselves to make this work. So dark side and some defense. Or is there not an item that works here? I guess we can close that way a tab. that as a practical option. Night Sisters. What worked? Yeah, some defense, some health. Oh, this is kind of a whatever crown, actually. Doesn't really do anything to this. Hmm. How interesting. We will attempt this. We have no reason not to try. Hmm. All right, as far as crons go, um, my gut would be dark side with some defense. So that's a Seer Cal team. I wonder if Seer Cal might be useful to us somewhere. I, hmm, I don't expect to use this Kron. Star Killer. Star Killer gets to be used somewhere else if we're successful here, so that's kind of the goal. You would be kind of neat to use here. In fact, um, not really having a lot of light side teams left. This could be useful for Bad Batch somewhere, so I guess we can preserve it for that purpose. This being good for Seer Cal. Because we do have a Seer Cal Fulcrum. Oh, no, we have Seer Fulcrum and some scraps we could throw together in the end. But there's no reason to plan to save that. All right, this is the one we'll use. I feel like we lose the least, you, you burning the Iden crown here. Let's see how far we get with this. We saw that a crown with pretty much nothing on it could get it done. So, to whatever degree that's true. Okay, so you got 10 up. Um, you're gonna slap me back if I do this. If I go down now, it feels like it's a waste. So we'll just basic. Which I don't really like either, but. Okay, still not my fave. Okay, that's a good one. I'm into that. All right, um, tenacity is missing. Let's see. But people can start dying. They're all full. What's the play? I feel like if they end up opening up really hard here and blowing up a bunch of us, this would be a great time to not have any of the rest of this shit come back to my home. Uh, you're not the one I really want to mass hit, but... I'll just do this thing. God bless, friend. Okay, so you are stunned with 10 of. 
like this last time. I prefer basic. We don't want to AoE here. Not yet, anyway. Uh, the basic would be kind of neat because we would have the 10 up. We'd have a resurrect. Uh, and we are going to do the res with Paulson anyway. Yeah, this means now we could potentially stun if we're fortunate. Very nice. Welcome back to the show, friend. Um, basic here. Still biding my time, I'm afraid. How to do this. Yeah, they're about to pop off and do some shit. Let's have it. What you gonna do? Yeah, alright. Didn't expect you to hit the zombie, I'll be honest with you. You're not supposed to do that. Stop her. Hey! Hey! Stop that shit. Hey! Stop that. Hey! You can't do that. Ooh. Well, you better withdraw from that shit. Okay. So, it was going alright until it wasn't going. Good. 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 Hmm. That DR Treya team. I don't recall seeing it compelling data about cool tricks to try. Yeah, Night Sisters could work there. It did say that, but that was pretty chancy. teams remaining. We have CLS. We know that Afra would work here. So Afra can get through. Is there a place where DTMG might work for us? some turn meter stuff. Let's experiment then at this point. Let's see what happens. I'd like to see that. Do, do, do. Okay. Grab our Scalcron. Defense into offense is going to be interesting. But I am willing to try. It's going to be really fast. So that might work for us. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, good. About 14 seconds in, we got our first turn, and I can uh, hit somebody who's going to hit me back. Surely nothing to worry about. Okay, that's good. So what I want to do? Okay. Okay. Guys are allowed to let me take a turn, yeah? Jesus. All right. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Um, so I could probably just straight up hose you then, couldn't I? There's no revival mechanic. Dispel all buffs on them. Ooh, but you have blinds. See? See? Reading. The power of literacy. Mm. Okay, stop doing moves. I hate it when you do moves. Hey! Stop that. Okay, so now you're not blinded, right? That means I can destroy your shit? Nope, not quite the droid we were looking for. This is going to pull the turn meter, which is not the best for... Yeah, we'll do it. DTMG can live with it. You're not going to get countered in any meaningful sense. I just want to make sure you die, my dude. Okay. This is the revival one, yeah? Yeah. This will have to do. Okay. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Okay. Okay. Still pretty much want to just hit you, right? Okay. Ah, yes, you. You are exposed. Hey, stop that. Don't kill him. 
Stop doing stuff. Hmm. Not the droid we're looking for. How about you? Um, why can't I uh, choose to dispel you? That's not very nice. How about this stuff? Dispel the tank. I guess we gotta do that for now. Someone has died, so that does mean that we could do a death mark here. And you could smack into that death mark. Right there, like that. Hey, that feels like a good buy. Damn it, you're not supposed to kill my guys. It would be much better if you did not. Okay. Two minutes, two minutes. Can we sew this up? Not really want, so that's good. Uh, I guess only you, for some reason. Hey, welcome back, boys. Just dodge everything. Um, for some reason you're open, maybe hit you. What with you being the leader and all. Who's the leader of? It's meant for you and me. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice one. A basic for that. Yeah. All right. Now we're starting to cook. You over there. Oh. Yeah, we're starting to cook with a minute left on the clock. You needed to be cooking some time ago. Boy, if you kill that shit. Almost there. Stay on target. Um, shit. I said stay on target, but you're the one that really needs to go. So, like, just kill him? Hey. Hey. Stop that. If you dispel that shit, I'm getting mad at you. Okay. Okay, dodge. Yep, yeah, 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 because of the blind. Yep, it all makes sense. It's all coming together. Well, good. What's important is I wasn't punished. Dude, it is just absolutely fucking merciless. Why are you hitting for so damn little, bro? That's what I'm saying. Let's have more of that. Please die. <laughs> Just get full upped, son. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That'll make sense. Alright. So, I think probably... I think probably after Drogon was out of the game, probably all in on Saw would have been the way to go. I didn't really feel punished by ignoring Chirrut. It felt right to be going after Kyle, but in the end, if I'm gonna end up timing out, it's better to time out to just like Chirrut and Kyle. Certainly better than this situation. Now, this is a lot easier to deal with. I mean, something. It's still kind of a pain though. Okay, so DTMG was good. That means that like CLS would be a for sure, for sure on that. Um, <laughs> Some type of value buy here would be great. I already sorted this out, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, Star Killer. Mm, mm, mm. How are we going to deal with that, uh, Darth Shithead? Okay. So we do C down there for that. Song can be almost anything now. So it's like Star Killer. Yeah, against that DR, man. Did, did Starkiller have some positive win rate? It doesn't feel like it would. Nothing suggests that. Okay. I 
sometimes a tough customer. So perhaps C gets used here. That'll be pretty straightforward. So we'll have to find a different way through Sith Eternal down there. But I can't take a risk on this going tits up on me. Um, Watt does feel like a prudent move. Sith. Uh, what do we want? Yeah, I feel like we'll throw in a couple bodies. Uh, don't feel like I'm losing out by showing a little respect. Tanks, though? I mean, having at least two Sith seems smart, but Sith Assassin goes down so quickly. Still, it's not like to be used elsewhere. Uh, tank. Give me that piggy. That's who I need. In my hour of need, the piggy answers the call. Defense, we've got this one, high defense. We are running an awful lot of defense. Yeah, that's fine. I do want to see what he set for fleets. So surely I can't allow myself to get blocked out, even if I can't full clear. Because we're already at battleship sunk status. Um, I mean, DR is just kind of an ass. But you're really the pain here, Nihilus. Uh, so I'll make sure that you go first. Yes, good, good. Welcome back, friends. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is really nice. He's a real nice. is about to take his due. Ooh. Ooh. All right, that's good. That's good. My two Sith are left for last. That's uh, useful. Okay. Mm, gotta hit you. So let's just stick to the screen. Hey, leave, her, leave Brittany alone. So, I guess it's you two dicks. And we'll take out town as a target of opportunity. Okay, you already did the split. That's a shock. That's good. I like shock. Lock shock is good. Oh, wow. Uh, you're about to pop off. Um, so, that means you're about to go under stealth then. Yeah, you would have. Good, good, good. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Hmm. Alright, 55. Super gruesome. But the job is done. C, want, set, gam, sass. Probably could have run without sass. 55 would have been a 57. 58. Alright. So, Saw, we did uh, DMG, Death, uh, Kid, Storm, Scout. And we took out 2 plus, took out Drogon. I think with a little practice, that might be pretty good. One drop. Killed, Baze, Drogon, 
then focused Kyle. Probably should have focused Saw after Drogon was dead. All right. So Finn would need something on the order of Afra. If we use that like that, then, yeah, I mean, we're probably not going to get through this. Uh, ooh. Starkiller. Starkiller is our only hope. Lone Star. Uh, did I sort out a Sith Eternal? There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use this as a cooldown pull. I bet. I bet you did some type of cooldown pull here to cheat the system, which might actually be prudent for us. Hmm. What does that look like? Link, Link. We'd want you to sweep. You. I mean, I'd need you to get your second turn at least to pop merciless. But then you're just going to quickly get to that cooldown. So I think what's most important is to pull chains. So after chains, DV would go almost immediately next. So the cool thing, the, the spice move, would probably be to throw the lowest value rebel units in as possible. To push Darth Vader. Something like that. Let's go for it. That's a rebel. It's a rebel. Mm, you're pretty strong. You're too strong for my purpose. Because I need you to, like, pop pretty much instantly. I need two, three. Uh, at least three, I would think. Ba -ba -ba. You'll kill over readily enough. Let's try this. A little bit of subterfuge. Okay, good, boom, that's kind of as good as we could ask for, honestly. Uh, Alright, so if Afra has to go there, then it's Starkiller for Finn, which I think is feasible. Yeah, I think that'll work. So, Afra it is. <sighs> Healing immunity would be nice. Um, yeah, I believe that. Let me um, hit the men's room again real quick, and I'll be right back. That last cup of coffee just ran right through. All right, and we have returned. Droids, uh, BT-1, triple zero. Hmm. I'm PD. And you. Buff sweep could be helpful. Yeah, there's a variety of reasons for this. Okay, we've got you. Hey, sweetness, welcome home. How was school? He's saying, ow. Oh. 
But not like in pain, just repeating. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. She's just thirsty. Uh, yeah, let's roll. Yeah, so who needs to go? Probably Red. Of all the ones that can fuck off, he can fuck off the most. I hate you and nobody else but you. Stop that shit. Okay, this is a great opportunity for fire, but if we fire here, we almost certainly get feared. It's a terrible choice if that's the goal. Let's go. Okay, that's a good one. I'll take that. Now we're going to get fear anyway, but we made sure that our man died. And that's uh, that's going to have to be good enough. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, okay, yeah. We'll, we'll make with the setting you back again. That's all good to me. Um, this one. So the thing is... There's no reason really to do that to you, I think. Because you don't really get slowed down by that. But you do... Yeah, I mean, the offense is kind of worth our trouble. And then we get to call you? Yeah, that could have been a big hit. It wasn't, but it could have been. And that's the that's the important thing. Right, you lose all your buffs. Smack. Okay. Um, if we basic here, then she gets another turn. Whew! Wow, that was a... That was a manly-ass hit right there. I'll tell you what. That is no bullshit. Sure, just make uh, make real nice. Okay, okay, we're back to this again. Okay, not my fave. Uh, but we can't, we don't really want to hit anyone else, do we? Well, I still don't want to risk anybody getting randomly feared for some dumbass reason. Possibly applying shock at risk of fear is worth my trouble. Refresh, if you would kindly. Okay. Yep, gotta do the offense stack slap. Almost there, stay on target. And you're gone. I think we get to be on cruise control. Now looking back, um, yeah, C got to take some turns, so we probably would have... I don't know, would we really have had to deal with uh, this shit? Maybe we didn't have to do the cooldown pull? Mystery to solve later, but wow, IG-88 was brutal there. That was, that was pretty slick. Um, so we did CD pull plus Afra for 44, so zero plus 44. Got the job done, though. Qui-Gon, I have no idea, so we'll deal with that kind of dead-ass last. Ah... Uh, for you, boy, I really hope that uh, you're going to tell me Starkiller is good for this, because otherwise, yeah, Starkiller is going to be fine. Uh, who's my boy? Probably Mace. Let's run, let's run Mace. Starkiller, Lysis, grab my Jedi. Yeah, we'll make it Mace. No one better qualified. Uh, Visus Cron. Oh, did I already use that? No, it's right there. It's right in the phone. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We should be really wicked ass damn fast. So as long as we stun RHF, we should be cool. Should be real cool. No preload. We did withdraw. Successfully. Hello there. You're gonna get on down now. Right. Um, yeah. We're just gonna chase the, the stagger. Holy shit. Actually, this would be a really good one to just hit all the staggers. And do that shit. Yeah. yeah, it's tough to say. That's a bad call. All right, you then, next. 
Hello there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we could try that. We could go for that. Uh, go for the greed. Get right after you, girl. Hmm. Let's call him. Give me that shot. That's the good one. That is the good one right there. Do this again. Drop it. Meow. That'll do. Okay. Space. Plus 45. And what was the first go? What did I try there at first? Oh, that was uh, Night Sister, so. Other Taws and Dakas on the Marin Massage. Yeah, that shit ain't working. And we'll just put the comment there. It's just an unfortunate blowout. Um, I probably used Marin's middle one turn too early in that last time. I'd say that's the one thing I, I really sh could have done differently. Otherwise, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a roller coaster fight. I, I often have it work, and I guess sometimes uh, not. Put a comment that reflects that. All right. Um, as far as you go, mm, yeah, CLS. How many different pieces of things are we going to need to take on Qui Gon? I wonder. Tuscans? Tuscans could probably do this up. Right? I feel like that's uh, kind of a thing. Unlikely to be punished for that. Famous last words. Throw it in and hmm, more or less put it on auto, I would think. Because people are going to come in and out of stealth. Hey! Hey! You... Boy! Hmm. So far, it's not great. Yeah. You guys have gotten to uh, take all of the moves. It has not been my fave. All right, old girl. Oh, shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You had that right off rip as if it were a fresh battle? Fuck you. And then we're back on cooldowns. This should be an adventure. I'm, I'm down. I am so down. Just wreck me. Wreck me, bruh. Let's give it all in buffs. You don't need any of that. Get. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we want to hold off there. I don't want to risk possibly not being able to slap him super hard with old girl here. Right about now-ish. Yeah, Kyle, because Kyle's going to be much more fragile. Come on now. Get the fuck out of my house. All right. Hey, welcome back. Man, I miss that Kron. That's a good Kron. That Kron's good people. Oh, shit. Well, that's... Hey, we weren't supposed to do that. Well, that means the fire's been procced. Okay. Well, when you die, then, uh... That is a note that we will keep. Hmm. burning good out here, I'll say that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's kind of what we're going for. 
Smack? Oh. It was only 10 stacks of momentum. It'll have to do. Just take that time, I guess. Oh, now, now you're here. God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Basic here. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. So, so how about it? Uh, yeah. This is gonna be one of the famous last nice word things, isn't it? Oh no, no, it worked out. Oh, but you didn't get it with the killing blow. So we have to see if we can get it with the killing blow here to get our dudes back. I think that's the way of things. Gotta hit him with the big hit. I have a dispel coming right up. Just like so. Now, you are fixing to slap. 51 stacks. Wow, and you live. Fucker. Alright. Basic here. Yeah. Crazy. It's the damage reduction. It's gotta be the damage reduction. It's really holding this one up. A minute to go. I think we'll still get it. Ooh, this is a good time to try. It's a great time to try. Mmm, the turn meter was favorable there for a moment. Now it's disfavorable. I can come around maybe. Okay. Ooh, basic. Get that call. Get that lucky call. That's a good one. Alright, Tuskins. Okay. One raid boss yet remains in the back. But let's uh, have a quick foray through fleet. A more conventional defense. Mmm, see that executor up there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Enemy fleet. Leviathan. Uh, executor. And malevolence. Okay, so this is negotiator. Executor gets profundity. And Leviathan gets Chimera. All right. Now, this is an interest. This is a novel composition, with uh, with Gauntlet up front. So Gauntlet provides twenty five percent increased defense to allied ships, double if they are Empire. I want to say only Empire. I want to say. Yeah, 25% mm -hmm. is still considerable. So, what does this mean? I guess it means that we would treat this ship as the one to kill because if you ignore it, not only does it have the passive defense, um, that shield could be inopportune. Kind of neat thing is that when it does the cleanse, it would take off uh, ferocity from them, which would lower their offense. I feel like this ship should go down decently well if I focus it, so it's probably worth doing. Because Gauntlet can be unexpectedly nasty. Let's have it. One and a two. Let's hope this works. Yeah, see, if you ignore that gauntlet, and then gauntlet does third onto uh, Aiden, and then you have buff immunity on you, man, that's a wrap. Yeah, I think you have to go after gauntlet. That's not it's not a terrible choice. It's it's a decent choice, especially if you're like him and you got double nine, you know, like Gar ISC, and it's still going to be a decently thick ship. We'll have to see how it plays. Okay. 
Yep. Ooh, that's great. He just did the wiggle. I like that a lot. Yep, dodge. That's the push. My defender. Now, you'll note that it still got out the, the bombs here. So normally we're preventing this guy from taking that turn. We were unable to do that this time. What is the reason for that? That's a pretty rare situation, I'd say. All right, this guy is not Sith, so he should not be getting saved. It's still pretty thick, though. Damn. Um, yeah, we would want to do the heal here. Got to close out Gauntlet real quick, like. Yeah, that felt like the right move. On to you, then. Okay. Now, what happens to Ivan? How hoed out is Ivan? Exactly. Ooh, boy. That was uh, potentially nasty. I'm not going to bullshit you there. The ship has to go down real quick. Stop that ship. Okay. Now you come on out. Gotta close you out real quick. Right? Your ship gets too, too intense. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Fuck. That's not the right. That's not the droid we're looking for. Uh, you. Okay. No, that's not good. Okay, that's good. Almost. Stay on target. Stay on target. Ah. Okay, not so bad. So, um, what is that? Why did that happen? Why did, uh, what was it? Is there something about them gaining buffs or being cleansed that makes them get turn meter? There's something that had bomber. I've never seen that ever before. Where the uh, B-28 bomber was able to go out ahead of Chimera. Because the ship that goes between B-28 procs the foresight, which makes Chimera go next. So that's pretty interesting. I will have to think about that. It was a novel comp, though. The rest of this should be pretty straightforward, yeah? It is spy. Very good. Okay, so we still want to stick to you for the moment. Basic here. Hello there. Mm hmm. Okay. Except. Mm -hmm. And now we would have culture. Sweep targeting you. Nice. Hmm. Now, if we are incautious here, we could be super damn punished. Um, could lose someone. So I'm going to do this here, because I want Vulture to come out. Then we use Pro. I don't want to risk a punish. That shit hurts. I believe it. Yeah. That's the one that needs to go. Alright. You come on in. Uh, this thing's gotta go real quick. That's fine. Next week we'll take this one down. Keep you covered. That overcharge hurts. Uh, yeah. Uh, turn out a phase there. The reinforcement just basic. Ah, uh, yeah, gotta go for the gusto, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this should be still that ship is damn close to getting its next. Um, 
think all the rest of these are horse shit. So I think we can just fight here. Yeah. Okay. 71. Alright. 70, 71. Very good. And profundity. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, if you have the unforeseen happen, you can... Alright. Yeah, the unforeseen will not happen. Target. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, if you don't do the wiggle here, you could be punished. Hmm. There's no reason to do the dispel here. bit of work. Uh, this could get a call if we do that, but I don't want to do it like that, because I don't want to get any counters. No counters. Yeah, again, no counters. Simply by... Hey, stop that shit. This is a good dispel. Alright, 75. So he actually had a considerable lead on banners for ships today, despite having a relatively similar defense. So that's nasty. What does that mean? Nah, just things probably went better, I would imagine. Chimera, 70 is pretty good. The malevolence being 71 is a little lower than average, I suppose. Hmm. Anyway, let's see if we can't figure out this Qui-Gon before the end. Now, we could maybe cheese this, but where's the fun in trying that? So what are we to do? Um, I guess the first thing to do would be to look up everything but Kellerin. We know what Kellerin does. So we'll try to infer from there. AKA Mace, Cam, and something. It doesn't matter. Uh, no attacking GL. No cleanups. Division 1. Give it a good defense. One of these. Yeah. So not bad, Batch. Seer something. I could believe that. Yeah, alright. So uh, there is not a lot to, to test with. We could try that Seer team and see if there's any value to be gleaned in the trying. Certainly not going to have a different use for these characters. Uh, man, these guys are just going to get their shit slapped, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens, though. Hmm. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, it does have to be that, right? It's just basic, get the force out. Now, I hear, I hear what you're saying. Uh, this is death one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, we are gonna miss there, but I need you to have a foresight at the end of this, right? Something like that, at least. So the question is, is this a two shot? Ooh. Well, it's not looking like a one shot, I'll tell you that. Ah. Alright. This does something? Yeah, it gets deflected. Because you are doo doo. You are a duke. Oh. Oh. Mm. 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 Okay. You're no fun. Okay. Then you get to ignore, right? No? No? Okay, you do. Um, can't be evaded? Target, target can't evade and has minus 50% armor against this attack. So if this is going to destroy his shit... Yeah, all right. It was gonna, if, it's, if it was gonna do it, it was gonna do it there. Hey, stop that! God damn! Well, you gotta calm down. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's nasty. Okay, so the idea here is don't kill me. Damn. All right. Well, that was pretty good. Um, that means that a proper seer team would have, I think, very little issue. So, Seer, Hulk, 2S, Kylo, Scav, uh, 2-plus. We took out the principal teeth in this, so I'm pretty happy with that. That means that we should be pretty good here with this one, I imagine. Rebels, yeah, is isn't the best Rebels. This is the better Rebels. We'll roll with it, even though it's not offensive. So two plus, and then C three PL. Okay. Um, among these, who must die first? Surely. And now you're just some asshole. Yeah. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Okay, that's good. Uh, if I hit you like that, it's just gonna miss. But if I basic, that's a good move. Smack. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, this one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. One, two, 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 two. You're the only one without. Let's hook you up. Perfect. All right, so it was an ugly affair, but we did in fact clear. We also did not win. <laughs> All right. What's the total? Ooh, look at that. 1692, Jesus, did I fall clear? Man, it was, mine, mine was just way worse than his was. We still got it done, but Jesus. All right, so yeah, there's going to be some good lessons learned from this one. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let's go ahead and do a recap. As far as um, defense goes, I covered that in the beginning of the VOD. Um, so go back to the beginning to catch that. He cleared my full board before the stream started, so it's all there. As far as attacks go, let's start with bottom front. Against Malgus, Set, BSF, Sith Marauder, and Sass, we went in with uh, a Bastila lead uh, Jedi Cal team, right? Let me see, where is that written down? Yeah. Bastila, Jedi Cal, Joe Lee, Hoda, and JKL for 65. Against Ray Swolo, L3, Zeris, and Sorty. We did JMK, Kat, Ahsoka, Zeris, and GK. Um, I think ever so slightly mismanaged, but might have time, timed out anyway. No um, permakill cron. Still got the job done. 
Yeah. Uh, we we killed everybody but uh, Swolo and Sorty. So we just ended up timing out, and Swolo came back like with two seconds left on the clock, and we timed out. He was otherwise he would have otherwise been dead. Clean that up with Geos for thirty nine for a total of forty two. Uh, against JMK Cat C three PO Ahsoka and GK. In the last five season, I took uh, on Aesop's JMK with the same composition using Inquisitors, and I lost Seventh Sister. Uh, it's because they were able to do specials uh, after I opened up with GI's third. I decided to try opening up with second, having ability block on everybody, and that made it super smooth. Um, nobody was really ever in danger. We also had the advantage of there being no permakill cron. Right? No permakill, so we did see uh, Cat get after um, Reva with the smite, and that would have been the end, probably the end of the line for us if, uh, if, that, were, if that were a Scoundrel No Revive. But as, uh, as it was not, it was a 65 banner clear. Leia, Cassian, Old Ben, Krex, and uh, Chupio. So we went in with Jabba, Kersantan, Bausch, Scando, Embo. This is my very first time using Jabba on offense. We got it down to just Leia in the end. We timed out with just Leia remaining. Um, some of that fight was inexperienced, I want to say, but I think leaving old Ben for last until, you know, with the exception of Leia, was probably a good move. We chose to beat down Krex and eat Chupio with the first ultimate. I don't... I think, you know, the only thing that you might argue was the the wrong move is, you know, the opener was a big question mark for me. I opened up with Jabba's third so that I would not get impeded by any kind of taunt. Um, so I put that immediately onto old Ben and, and just moved on with my life from there. And I felt like that was a pretty okay decision. Um, but if I had done the middle, that means I probably would have gotten to ultimate. A little bit sooner. I think we might have done a little bit more with our Datacron as well. If I had to do it all over again, I would try it now with the second, but honestly, I, I'm not going to beat myself up with opening with the third, because uh, I got to hit who I wanted to hit, at least. Nonetheless, um, I saw some win rate on GG against the solo Leia of this orientation using Geo, so, uh, not Geo, sorry, GG, V1, B2, Droidica, Magna. And damn if we didn't almost have her, but she did stabilize in the end uh, and was able to endure us. Survive with just a sliver. It was pretty incredible. Uh, went back in with Mom Mothma scraps, really, and though it took us a little bit of time, we did end up, in fact, beating her down. So that was a total of, I don't know, 35? Yeah, something like that. I don't know, something like that. That seems reasonable, yeah. All right, in the back. So he had Sith Eternal, and I wonder... See, I, I saw that Aphra had some very poor... Well, not a lot of data on, on any kind of C comp for last season in the first place. And in the second place, uh, I already used C up top to get through that Darth Revan split. So my issue here was... Um, if I did Afra opening, was I going to get screwed over by chains? Now, we ended up being able to control the fight very well. I think that if I was attempting to do this without the Afra Datacron, this cooldown pull was probably a good idea. I think I could have lived without this one. So, if we would be plus 20 banners. It would be set like a 17, tw uh, 12. If I had uh, just opened up with Afra and took it out. Because what do we get on the second one? 44, so it would have been a 64, right? Uh, this assumes that Sith Eternal doesn't really get to get chains out and do stuff, but I think we did a fine job. I feel like he got to do no specials the whole battle. So as long as this Kron's here, I think that's uh, something I'll consider. Now, Qui-Gon Jinn, J.K., Cam, Kellerin, and Mace. Um, this was late in the fight. It's sitting here in the back, big and nasty. Not a lot of options for what to do with it cleanly. Uh, I had a Seer leftover team. Now dig this. 
Seer, Fulcrum, Kylo, Scav, and Second Sister. Managed to get Qui-Gon and JKA both down. Um, I don't know. That's not bad for a scrap team. I think that if I didn't have uh, Cal down with Slacker, that might have given us the survivability to maybe pull it off. Because we were not doing too bad until... Yeah, folks just started getting popped, but Cal would help a lot with that. And, and maybe even a tank if I were so bold, but I don't know. JKA would get buff immunity and stuff. Anyway, we cleaned that up with CLS. A total of 45 banners. And Slacker, Malakos, Vesus, Cal, and Crew. So the Vesus thing means that with, with Malakos there, Malakos is going to save any other Ufu that you kill the first time you try to take them below 1%. So if you're not deleting them with something, if you're actually pounding through them, you will have to pound through them twice. You would normally go right after Malakos, but in this case, if you do that, Vesis is just going to resurrect them, and you're just going to get stuck. So we did go in with JML, Grandmaster, JKR, Shock, and Ayla, and we went in on Vesis. We killed her twice, right? So that we wouldn't get uh, penalized by hitting anyone else. Took out Malakos after that, then Cal, then Crew, then Slacker. Um, I think I was in a bit of a rush. It might have been able to be managed a bit better, and Slacker, oh, definitely could have been managed better when it came to Crew, because Crew got to do a whole bunch of counterattacks and charge up that first, ti uh, that first tier of Slacker's ultimate. So he was able to get an ult off, and when that did pop off, that killed JKR. We would have uh, probably had very high banners on that had we not lost JKR. But being as it was, he was the only one we did lose, and we finished the fight for 60 banners. All right, now, top side. Uh, Lord Vader, Maul, Thrawn, Armor, or sorry, uh, Royal, and um, Piet. So we have uh, BKM, right? We have the, the new Bo-Katan. We went in with Bo-Katan, Bam, Paz, Grogu, and Armor. 61 banners. First time trying it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like you might have better banner perfection using OG Bow here. I might try that with OG Bow next time. Because Armor was cool. Armor was cool. Uh, I don't know how much the Beskar on Paz mattered. The armor shred was okay, but it only ended up being, I want to say, one stack from her on Royal. And then we got the second one from BKM. On her second turn, though, we did get to put another armor shred down on Lord Vader. There's, you can't, you can't sit here and say that another, as opposed to one armor shred getting out in the whole battle, having three getting out, you can't say that's bad. So I, I guess I, I shouldn't minimize that still uh 61 banners i think with practice that could be better dr treya nihilus savage and talent right so you know having um having dr as the lead for this team means that you really have very little chance of being successful with gidme and so we did not even attempt such a thing Looking at the state of the board, by the time I got here, I decided that making sure I got through the top wall was the best priority. I was otherwise going to use Sith Eternal to mirror his C down south, but we took it here. Uh, C, Watt, Set, Piggy, and Sass. Lost a whole bunch of them, as you might expect. 55 banners, but the job was done. Saw, Baze, Drogon, Chirrut, and Kyle with the Drogon Kron. Buffs on 3, damage reduction 6, and Drogon 9. Um, we, you know, at this point in the fight, I'd already known I'd lost, and I want, I was feeling whimsical. I felt like I might try something. Uh, what about DTMG, I asked myself. And I threw him into it. We took out Bays first, and oh. then got through Drogon. Um, at that point, I decided to focus on Kyle. So it was like Kyle, Chirrut, and Bay, uh, Kyle, Chirrut, and Sauce standing. And I thought that Kyle was the right one to go after. He seemed like he's, you know, considerably weaker um, than Saw and very, you know, powerful effect. So worth worth pursuing. In the end, 
we ended up, uh, I want to say, timing out, right? Yeah, we ended up, we were able to revive our dudes again and again, but we just kept getting stunned and locked down. And that opener sucks when they set your cooldowns back off rip. That is a lot to deal with. Uh, I don't know if I'd do it again, but I know that I could get through it with DTMG in a cleanup, right? It's pretty good to know that like an Apex, gosh, I wonder, you know, if you had Krex in here instead of Kyle or Chirrut, I wonder, I don't know, man. It was pretty gnarly. I, I expect that regardless, if I had uh, Treya, then this would be a non-issue. So there's something to consider there. All right, and then Finn. Resistance Hero Finn, uh, Poe, Zori, and Rose. So uh, I decided to try Mother Tals in here. This would have been a value buy. This was a little bit ahead of the other fights on this wall. We... We tried to do Mother Talzin and get a value buy. Historically, I've been I've been good at it. I've been doing all right with that. Not today. Not today. Uh, I think I made an error by using Marin's stealth one turn too early. They ended up catching folks outside of um, Zombie's taunt. And folks started just getting blown over. And uh, we were able to withdraw and not preload. Took it down with Starkiller. EP, Mara Jade, Starkiller, Vesus, and Mace for 45. So yeah, I could have one-shot that one as well, right? A lot of good lessons here on squads today. It's a good DR split, though, because, I mean, denying value to Gidme is, is pretty key. Now, as far as fleets go here in the back, uh, Leviathan, we went in with Chimera. Interesting novel composition with Gauntlet up front. Gauntlet did wiggle and dispel, uh, and I uh, I have to study that because something about Gauntlet dispelling it granted turn meter I think because B twenty eight went out ahead, and one of the benefits of this Chimera strategy is you're able to get uh, Tie Defender out, you know, normally ahead of B twenty eight. And stop it from pretty much ever being able to launch its grenades if, if things work out well. Um, but it was able to get them out straight away. Nonetheless, we were able to get a 70 banner clear on it, which is standard. But uh, I don't like that. I don't understand why that happened that way. Against Executor, he went with Razorcrest IG, uh, Hound's Tooth opener. And we went in with Profundity for 75. And against Malevolence, 71 with Negotiator. Yeah, we, we did get a little bit beat up on this one. But uh, it'll have to do. Now, I note to myself that I didn't need Ahsoka here, man. I could have just run two Banner Sliders, so it would have been a 73. Note to self, man. Note to self. I could have pinched another couple more. All right, well... Guys, um, everyone that's here in Discord, thanks for hanging out for the long haul. It's been uh, a really good stream. This is like my first legitimate match of this season. And I've got some really cool ideas now for week two. Um, nevertheless, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I'll go ahead and do the normal plugging stuff here. If... Um, well, I guess there's no reason to type that out for Discord, but yeah, find my Discord. You'll see it here in the video here. It's also on my channel, on Twitch, or on YouTube. You'll find it. I believe in you. Um, you want to check out my YouTube channel, uh, Tassinix Gaming YouTube. That is where previous episodes of the stream are uploaded, as well as my podcast with my buddies Dagger, TJ, and Sasha Isha. Uh, it's called Plotting and Scheming, and that is a week in review uh, podcast focused on GAC. We'll go over, um, you know, what worked for us, what didn't, what lessons were taken to the next week, our favorite defenses, you know, what what stood out, all that kind of good stuff. So I really encourage you to check that out. And uh, last but never least, if you like the cut of my jib and you want to support what I'm doing here at Tassinix Gaming, then by all means, check out. Man, I have to fix the order in which I open that. Check out my Patreon. Check out patreon.com forward slash Tassinix. For any upwardly mobile aspiring GAC player, there's something there that should interest you. But I really do encourage that $10 tier because you do support me. You get access to the Patreon community. Um, and you also get a bundled Patreon membership to OmegaBot. So if you like those detailed reports that I went in uh, on Aesop at the start of the stream, that's how it's done. 
It's my favorite GAC uh, scouting tool. It is the best money I, I think you know you can spend uh, to support yourself in GAC. Let's thank the patrons, the fine folks that make all this possible. Uh, VIP access plus taking advantage of the aforementioned Omega Bot bundle. Uh, Trevor Boy Gaming and Striker, thank you guys so much for your support. At VIP access, thanks go out to White Wolf, Sam Vimes, Jobin4527, Sweens14, Stark Strategy Gamer, Sir Boss, Lego Calrissian2187, Deadpool Cow28, Johnny B. Ottawa, Darth QPPMG, Ray's Malbus, and JJ's Productions Twitch. Special thanks goes out to Yoda Force, one of my OG supporters. Uh, got me the mic that I'm speaking to you on now, so he's since quit the game. Uh, wish you well on the other side. To Mrs. T, my darling wife, thank you again for allowing me to uh, spend hours here streaming, uh, even though it's just on Discord. You know, uh, I appreciate you not giving me shit about it, so love you dearly. To Dagger, TJ, and Sasha Isha, my co-hosts on Plotting and Scheming, love you guys. Thank you for making uh, the time out of your very busy schedules to get with me and get this show done. I love what we're doing, so thank you so much. And an extra shout-out to Dagger, who is an admin on my Discord. Helps uh, helps out a lot with questions in my community. Uh, so thanks for that added effort, man. And, of course, to Nomad's Reaper, the one, the only. He pops in from time to time and just showers us with love. Thousands of biddies, uh, biddies dozens of subs handed out at a time. He just goes hog wild with it, so we appreciate you, man. All right. We're back here at the main scene, and this is where I leave you guys. Uh, normally I would raid out, but again, we're, we're on the low low here on Discord. So uh, I'll stay here in Discord to chat with people when I close off the, bo uh, the VOD. But until next time, it's been real. It's been awesome. It's been real awesome. Take care. <laughs>